Coming up, five artists who've changed how we look at art without you even knowing. Howdy everyone, I'm John Kenneth at Goldman New Art, and welcome to my channel where we focus on your confidence, creativity, and career. And today, it's inspiration time. Ask anyone to name a famous artist, and we know we'll get Van Gogh, Da Vinci, Monet, Manet, and even a little bit more modern artists like Keith Haring, David Hockney, and Banksy, who are now becoming household names. But there are so many artists whose work has made its mark without us even knowing. So in this episode, I'll highlight five visual artists ranging from painters, performance artists, filmmakers, and sculptors. And my goal is to expose you to visual artists who you may not know of. And even if you're familiar with everyone on the list, they're not being talked about enough. So I've also left links in the description for every entry as a good place to get started if you want to dig a little deeper. But before we dive in, if you like this type of content and want to see more, please hit that like, subscribe, and notification bell so you don't miss another one. The first one is Ellis Lowry. Lawrence Stephen Lowry captured the essence of the industrial landscapes of Northern England. His signature matchstick men have become an iconic representation of the working class during the early to mid 20th century. His paintings provide a unique perspective on the social and industrial changes of the time. In regard to his technique, his work can first be seen as primitive or naive, but don't be fooled. If you look a little closer, you'll see a draftsman's talent for perspective, composition, and layering with a very purposeful application of color, which ties close to the fact that he used these five colors almost exclusively throughout his career. As you delve deeper into the themes of Lowry's work, you'll discover a meticulous observer of everyday life. From the smokestacks of factories to the bustling urban scenes, each canvas reveals a nuanced story of a bygone era. I've found that the more I look at his paintings, the more his approach seems to be really the only way to tell these kinds of stories. His ability to infuse ordinary scenes with profound meaning elevates his art to a level that demands our attention. Next, we look at Egon Schiele. Egon Schiele was an Austrian painter and a protege of Klimt, and he left an indelible mark on the art world with his raw and provocative expressionistic style. In my first semester drawing class, his work appeared on the cover of the required reading, and I was hooked. I hadn't seen anything like it. His work, which is characterized by distorted figures and bold lines, pushed the boundaries of traditional portraiture. Sheila's art is a testament to the unapologetic exploration of the human form, as well as psyche and sexuality. However, many critics at the time saw his work as grotesque, erotic, and pornographic, as well as disturbing because it focused on sex and death. Looking further into the world of Sheila, you'll encounter a prolific artist whose canvases serve as windows into the complexities of human natures, whether it be landscapes, self-portraits, or figurative portraits, which Unfortunately, most of them can't be shown here on YouTube, but they show a distinctive style that reflects his life. With each stroke, Sheila captured emotions and vulnerabilities with striking intensity, inviting viewers to a profound exploration of the human experience. Next, we look at Lee Bowery. Bowery, an Australian-born performance artist, designer, and fashion icon, made his mark on the intersection between art, fashion, and performance in the late 80s and early 90s. Known for his avant-garde and flamboyant creations, Bowery's influence can be felt to this very day. His artistic journey took him beyond conventional boundaries, challenging norms and redefining self-expression, finding that using his body as art would, as he said, reach more people than his canvas ever could. And what really attracted me to his work was not only did he create these fantastical characters, but the fact that he breathed life into his creations and that they moved and interacted with his audience was something that I had never seen before. Whether exploring his vividly expressive performances or his groundbreaking fashion designs, you'll find a visionary artist who seamlessly blended various art forms to create a legacy that continues to inspire today. Next, the Brothers Quay. One of my favorites are identical twin brothers Stephen and Timothy Quay, collectively known as the Quay Brothers or Brothers Quay. They inspired much of my animation work, especially my short film, Lily's Dream, and I've put a link to that film in the description below. They're celebrated for their mesmerizing and surreal stop motion animations. Born in Norristown, Pennsylvania in 1947, they moved to England in the late 60s to make their short films, with their best known film being Street of Crocodiles. 
In the 80s, they gained more of a mainstream audience with their music video work for Peter Gabriel and MTV. Their films are often dark and dreamlike, and they draw inspiration from Eastern European culture. Combining their surreal environments and technical proficiency, each frame could stand as a work of art on its own. Their films are rich with symbolism and intricacy, and they invite viewers into a realm where reality and imagination intertwine, which leave an enduring impact for those who want to delve into their visually stunning and stimulating creations. And closing our list is Michihiro Matsuka. With his work featured in exhibitions throughout Japan, Matsuka is a contemporary Japanese artist who stands as a testament to the evolving nature of art. His creature interpretations are wholly unique, and he drew me in with his elegant interpretations of form coupled with sleek and modern, as well as weather-worn accents that he incorporates into his forms coming together as something both whimsical and beautiful. Matsuka told me that his roots as a plastic artist go back to his school days. He was strongly attracted to foreign cultures and products he'd never seen. Cars with original and unique designs and stylishly designed foreign candies in rugged cans which were richly colored and shine like jewels while others had a taste that had decayed over time. He said that these were exciting fragments of the future and he pressed them close to his heart and eventually they wound up in his work and became the essence of these objects. What impresses me the most is that his work can come together to create forms to be both streamlined and beautifully cumbersome. So there are some visual artists that I think we need to take a closer look at. If there's a favorite artist of yours that you think I should check out, please let me know in the comments. So before I go, I want to leave you with the words of the great writer Joseph Campbell who said, the goal of life is rapture. Art is the way we experience it. Thanks very much for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.